I'm a straight fighter. You don't wanna fuck with me. Surprise, motherfucker. Me and my wife Camille like to smoke on meth and better be flavored jello pudding guy. I love meth, cause it's the best. Haha, <laughs> surprise motherfuckers. What's going on, everybody? God level. And today I'm bringing another Madden 12 commentary. I got a treat for you, though. Today I'm bringing a double header against the one and only Addy Cards. <clears throat> the God level's back! <laughs> so let's go. We got uh, we got two games. The first game is a, a league game. I have, and uh, this is his uh, one of his two leagues. I think this is the number one. Um, he has uh, the Rams in this league. I guess this is more for fun to him because he obviously could have been San Fran both of them, but he took the Rams, and this is a, a very classic game. Um, this is pretty much, he, you know what he does. He fucking runs the ball with Steven Jackson. He fucking shoves a bang your throat with Steven Jackson, and uh, <laughs> that's what he does this entire game. So fucking pain in the balls. That's Addy. That's how he plays. He fucking just... And that's why his run game is so successful, because he isn't scared to run the ball on 3rd and 10 or 4th and fucking 15. He will, you know what I mean? When you think when you think pass, he'll run. So, <laughs> shout out to him for that, and shout out to him for both of these games. He's, uh, he's a really cool guy. He, uh, if you notice, when uh, you comment on his videos and shit like that, he always answers. You know what I mean? He never uh, avoids anyone. So, <clears throat> he's a real cool dude. I, I actually subbed him. He was one of the, actually the first dudes I've ever subbed to on uh, in Madden. Like around like October time when I actually started like getting pretty good at the game. So uh, yeah, shout out to him for that. And I'll if you haven't already subscribed to him, please do. I'm, obviously you have, I'm sure. But for yourself, look at this kick right here. Come the fuck on, Lawrence Tynes. Look, it was perfect. <laughs> God damn it, Lawrence Tynes. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, subscribe to him if you haven't. I'm sure, obviously, I'm sure you have. But and I'll post. This is uh this is our second game right here, and then our third game comes in the. Towards the end, but uh, I'll I'll link in the first uh, the first game too. He uh I won't tell you what happened if you already seen it, but good stuff. Um, and here we go. Surprise! Sorry, Addy. Surprise, motherfucker! Amukamara. He ran that wide trail. I sat on it, and and I fucking got the pick with Amukamara, my boy. But uh yeah, this game was as you can see the first quarter. It's zero to zero. We both can put up points easily. You know what I mean? This was a very defensive game. I mean, granted, he does have the Rams, and it is tougher for him, but you know what? Uh, <clears throat> we both run a very, very similar offense. We both run strong close. We both break the auto drop. We both run fucking uh, slants, wide trail, and we both run the counter and shit like that, but uh, the only difference is right now the Giants are my main team to use. And he obviously has the Rams. He really doesn't have that many weapons. He has, obviously, Brandon Lloyd, Steven Jackson. Denario Alexander, I think, is on that team. He's 6'4". He's a beast. Um, but, you know him. He's he's run first. He's run, like, 80% of the time and pass when he has to. <clears throat> There's no point of not trying to run the ball with uh, with Steven Jackson. He's a fucking monster. But uh, he gets a nice play with the wide trail there. I, I tried to bite on both routes, but couldn't get it. 3rd <clears throat> and twelve. He, uh, I hit him with a nice B gap, and who was that fucking Pierre Paul? I know Bowley, I don't know who the hell it was, but he was fast. And here comes Nix, and there's fucking Addy. Him and his fucking strip, man. They call him the strip button. Well, he calls himself the strip button. Cole thinks he's the strip button, but if you notice in this video, me and Addy go fucking strip for strip. We both try to strip the shit out of each other. It's, it's instinct. There's no reason you shouldn't be doing that, but... <clears throat> Here we go. I hit him with a nice A gap, and it actually works awesome because he does the screen, so it comes in even faster. Um, third and twelve here, he goes across with that. It should have been picked, but uh, when you try to throw to the other side, like when you uh, scramble right and throw left, it, it usually is a pick. But uh, seven to three is the score after two quarters. This is ridiculous. This is six minute quarters, though. This isn't like four minute uh accelerated clock this is six minute accelerated clock which is a normal game but that's still absurd 
for uh, 10 points in, um, in two quarters. You know this game. You can score on ease. But we both we both tightened up on defense. We both uh, played awesome run day. Um, <clears throat> and neither of us really tried to go deep that much during the game. It was kind of who can, uh, who can throw the shorter passes and work their way down the field and manage the clock the best. That's how you have to play against Addy. You can't really try deep plays and stuff like that. You have to work the clock because that's what he does. He will run the clock on you with uh, with the running game. And it's, you know what I mean? It's, you gotta, you gotta try to beat him at his own game because look at this fucking play. Come on, Amukamar and goddamn Terrell. Oh, Terrell Thomas. What else is new? Fucking retard. Um, here Eli gets crushed here. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't fumble. And they, Addy knows what he calls me. I am the curl fucking play. <laughs> he calls himself the draw play. He calls himself the strip button. You know what? I am the fucking curl play. I put uh, on big situations. You got to put curls on the field. If you don't put curls on the field, it's a very you have to against zone. They're gonna beat zone. They're gonna beat man, and just they're, they're beastly. Look, there's the fucking curl again. But come on, next the fuck. Um, curls are ju and look at look at Bradshaw here. Everyone hates Bradshaw except for me. I love him. He's he's awesome for me. <clears throat> and uh, again, he's playing nice defense here. Um. I had to throw the ball away. Fourth and eight. I'm obviously going to take my points, even though I hate Lawrence Tynes. He is the worst kicker in the game. He's fucking useless, but <clears throat> I think his range is... I won't kick a field goal longer than 53 yards or something like that. <clears throat> He's very, uh... I, I don't know. His fucking foot must be like a size three or something like that. I, I don't get it. And he has chicken legs because he's awful. He should not be in the NFL, or not in this game at least. <laughs> And you can see there's another strip attempt. And this game's 10 to 10 going in the god. Look at fourth and five. He hits me with a fucking draw. I honestly was not expecting that. As much as you know he runs the ball, and as much as you know he says he runs the ball, you don't think he's going to run that fucking draw play on fourth and uh, five. So props to him for that. He he really is effective with that. Like he's not scared to do it. And look at this. Here's the game. It could be the game-winning field goal. Remember, I missed the, the field goal earlier in the game. And look at what happens. Oh no! Who is that? Josh Brown. I'm sorry for Rams fans if that's not his name, but so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take fucking. I'm not. All my Bradshaw's out of the game. I'm putting Brandon Jacobs, 98 fucking carry. Fuck that. He's gonna run up the gut and run this ball down. So what do I do? Let's go. I run this clock, and it's field goal time. It's up to Lauren Steins. Can he do it? Lauren Steins, please. This is not that long of a kick. Play the fucking music. No. Let's go! Fade to black. 13 to 10. Final score. So now the Giants. I'm actually going to record all the games in that league. This was week two, but I'll put out week one later. Um, <clears throat> thank, uh, obviously, here comes the second game, but let's go. He asked for. He wanted to play a ranked game. Um, <clears throat> I know that, that game had to piss him off with the missed field goal. It's bullshit. I missed the field goal in the beginning of the game. You know how this game works. Yeah. Uh, it's just a bullshit game, but, you know what I mean? There really wasn't that much bullshit in that last game. Uh, I fumbled, you know what I mean? We both missed a field goal. But other than that, there really wasn't, like, a whole bunch of fumbles and bullshit picks. But game two, I got the fucking, uh, the Giants, obviously. He took <clears throat> the Philadelphia Eagles. So, first play of the game, hit him with a fucking uh, a crossing route to, to Barden. And here, Bradshaw, I fuck up this run. I could have... I could have went keep going straight, but I try to get cute and fuck it up. But <clears throat> hit him with a pass lead inside the bar and playing zone. Um, this game I ran a lot of strong close. Obviously, um, if he comes out in like a nickel, like a nickel, uh, like I think he's trying the sugar blitzes or overstorm brave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna audible. Look at Eli, awesome Eli, right? No. <laughs> 
Eli! Come on, man. Him and his fucking strip. God damn it, he really is the fucking strip button, but... Whatever. I already told you I'm the fucking curl route, so let's go. Uh, hit him with a nice edge pressure here. <clears throat> this game, he did not come out running. I, I was... I actually, if you see in the beginning of the game, he would come out in two, uh... Two-man set. Um, like I form. I think he's come out in the halfback pass. Uh, I'm trying to get the man switch. Which is all good, so. Um, so I was coming out in, like, my normal Joey Mo run day. The 4-3 stack. Um, <clears throat> either cover two or cover two sink, whatever. Whatever one I felt more comfortable with. Um, yeah, so he was audible. You know what I mean? He kept audible one up. So it was, it was weird. So I, I didn't really have my pass D right away. So he would just take off with Vic because I was pinching my line and not sending anyone. You know what I mean? I was just trying to... But fourth and seven, leave it up to Lawrence Tynes to hit a 52-yard field goal. Look how sh look how short this is. Maybe maybe two more yards I can get out of that. <clears throat> That's crazy. Mason Crosby can hit like a 70-yard field goal. The same with Sebastian Janikowski. Um, yeah, uh, with the Celine Dion, and towards the end of the game, you guys will see another funny song. But it's obviously no disrespect. It's all fun and games. Uh, he's my boy. <clears throat> he's a real cool player. Um, I know he's been playing a lot of a lot of subs and shit like that, and a lot of PS3 guys. Props to him for beating them PS3 guys when he doesn't even have a PS3. So, I mean, shout, shout out to him for that. <clears throat> and now it's now it's B gap time. <clears throat> now I figured out what uh what he's pretty much gonna run. He's coming out in either uh either he's uh coming out in tight and he's oh, sending that guy in motion over there with his ghost play, which is fucking extremely tough to stop. Or he's coming out in the split close. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm um, running a lot of cover four and two man under, switching it up, sending a lot of B gap heat. Maybe I'll throw some four three stack in there. The B gap is gonna kill them sets, um, especially if you're not. Look at this, Barden, beast! Come on, baby, let's go. <clears throat> Barden with the sick touchdown. Eli to Barden. Barden is my number two receiver in the way I run it. My new, uh, I mean not new, but I run strong close and uh, tight doubles on, but. <clears throat> the way I run now is I come out in snugs. I have Barden as my number two uh, receiver. Hakeem Nix is one. Manningham is three. And Victor Cruz is four. Just so if I audible down, I'll have Victor Cruz at the flats. Or um, the fullback. And uh, who else is there? Oh, no. I just I put that in there because you saw how he does that man switch. It's sick. Um, with the halfback pass and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I figured out I caught on to that. And here we go. Surprise, motherfucker. Let's go. Webster. Sick catch. Um, he's my boy. Had him in the purple over there. He actually played a fucking purple, surprisingly. Oh, no. Actually, you know what? He was in the dark blue when I took him down. But uh, here I get a nice run with Bradshaw. And I don't know who number 21 is, but I'm actually an Eagles fan. I don't know who the fuck number 21 is. <laughs> but uh, And here, look, he hits me with that ghost route. And I was like, I actually didn't think he was going to throw the ball because he saw me come down. But he does, and I get uh, I get pretty lucky here that I stop uh, I stop Macklin. I needed that stop, and hit him with a B gap. McCoy not doing his job and blocking. Hit him with another B gap, get a big sack. So third and twenty-four. I know what he's doing. Look, I, I oh no, Addy, surprise, motherfucker. Bait him good there. <clears throat> Roll comes up with a big interception, and. At this point, um, he he had played very well defense right there, but uh, fourth and ten, I pumped the ball back to him. I'm running this cover four against him, and I'm running B gaps. So he's I know he's trying to break the auto drop and take off of Vic, but it's tough to do when the B gap pressure is coming at you. It's you know what I mean Addy's an extremely good uh, he has really good pocket presence, so you have to send heat against him, or he'll sit in that pocket all day, and uh, he'll either glitch the spy or he will uh. <clears throat> just running, yeah, I mean, running fucking hiking hall, as he would say. So I hit Cruz <clears throat> on the fucking corner route on the bench, and I get a nice little uh, touchdown there. So it's 24 to 3. This is going to be a big, uh, big comeback for him. Um, you know what I mean? It's like he took a big lead on me. At this point, I'm very comfortable. I'm feeling my offense is doing good. His, uh, I'm feeling comfortable against his, uh, his passing game. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, with the B gaps are, are working, everything, all my coverage is doing good. Uh, I was just in the zone at this point, honestly. 
He got me with the. He came into the meth lab. My dudes were all fucking meth the fuck out. Ever since we played that game, I now am the the number one meth dealer in uh, New Jersey. So shout out to him for uh, hit me up with that uh that uh, shout out for the meth lab. <laughs> I'm just playing around. Um, <clears throat> uh, last play of the uh, half, I throw it deep. And Addy, I'm sorry I had to do it to you. You know it's all fun and games, my friend. But surprise, motherfucker. This video is coming to an end, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe. Subscribe to Addy. Like the video, comment. I'm out of here. Peace.